My name is Mick Calver and I shoot volcanoes for a living. The first time was just exhilarating. It was just thrilling. I couldn't, I was shocked. I couldn't believe that this amazing phenomenon was happening and nobody was there shooting it. And I decided I had to go get a camera and, and start taking some pictures. So I call the news, I tell them I'm here, I'm for real, and lo and behold, they call me and they say, go up in a helicopter and shoot the volcano. So I go down, we take the door of the helicopter off, we fly up, and the high fountain eruption was going off about 1,200 feet. It was stunning. We made the first pass, and it is so hot, it's ridiculous. I keep checking my arm to see if I'm on fire. I can't, I can't think straight. I can't even focus the camera. I can't remember what I'm doing. After that first pass, it was never that hot again for some reason. I always considered that to be Pele's kiss to the new photographer. Kilauea's high fountaining eruptions are phenomenal, there's no doubt about that. But there are many other fascinating features of the volcano as well. On a day-to-day -day basis, you can see spatter cones, lava flows, literal explosions, ocean entries, skylights. I love the skylights. Skylights are windows, are breaks in the lava tubes that allow us to see into the lava tubes and see the lava flowing by. They just are always kind of morphing into something else. They're just always kind of changing into a different thing. And that's the nature of the volcano in general. It's always changing a little bit, sometimes a lot. I like to think of Pele, who's the goddess of fire and volcanoes, as the consummate artist, continually erasing her canvas and starting anew, sometimes with violent explosions, sometimes with gentle, delicate display. One of the most exciting things I ever saw were the literal explosions. These incredible steam explosions would bring sheets of lava 150 feet into the air. They'd come up white hot, and then they would turn kind of an orange, and then a red, and then a black, and they would kind of dissipate into the air in these kind of black veils. And they were just some of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Blast after blast after blast. It was absolutely perfect. another of the many faces of Pele. I never tire of the volcano. I never expected to make the volcano my life, but it, it really has become my life. It's something that I can not only document for myself, it's something that I can share with other people. And I love that aspect. I love being able to turn people on around the world to Kilauea Volcano.